Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, ladies and children, Paris of Epirus here. Today we are doing a um, tasty, tasty event run. Not with this geezer, weird titted goat man, um, but with Cabanda, because Cabanda is sick. Um, okay. <sighs> so what can I say about Commander? Um, he's like Realm and Angron, but just better. Um, so he's unstoppable. It's plus one. Was zero doing a turn, um, and the Rune Storm carpool seems really, really powerful. Um, I'm really funny. <laughs> Lord of the Flies. This guy seems quite this cool. This is an act of war against the Imperium of Mankind. I quite like Fel Reaver. Yeah. This guy's funny as fuck. As you can see, mucho death. Okay. So, we've taken down Raldor. Now to callbacks. Oh, I did a um, take a run, done with callbacks. I did uh, ten wins. He's quite good, actually. I like him. He's got some stupid, 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 stupid combos. Um, the healing one's really cool. It's the poisoning of a random troop that I think is going to be quite powerful because <clears throat> it just like, for example. You know, um, oh, what are they called? Um, um, orphans of war just all of a sudden are in a lot of trouble, in my opinion, because. <sighs> Sorry, very tired. Um, you just can't, like, <laughs> Scott, you can't, like, play anything, because, like, you play the, um, Moritat, um, sorry, that's the 5-4 that gives, um, Sentence 2, and he's going to die at the end of the first turn it can act, so you might as well just hit the guy for 5, but he's healing for 1 if he wants, and it's just, yeah, it's hard, man. <laughs> I just love how fat the board can get. Does get ruined by um, defense stats, but. Yeah, I can see Cabana being very powerful in ranked.
I think <clears throat> I don't think that's necessarily quite as good a card, but to three five. I really like this card. I really like that card. Six four sneak attack that gets fast if you sacrifice another troop. Um, yes, please. Right. I have a little bugbear with this goddamn matchmaking system. You will notice that I think until maybe the last one or two of my matchups that I only ever play sodding second in a mirror. It is so annoying. <laughs> um, um, I can't remember how I did this. Well, I mean, clearly I won all my mirrors in this one. In the one before, this is... Um, what deck is this again? Uh... Oh, I can't remember what it's called. But the... the one I played with before this is um, Miasma Rage. And I had nine mirrors. I went second in all of them. <laughs> and uh, what did I do? I I won um, four, drew two, and lost three. And obviously the three losses was what cost me my ticket run with that. This is another guy who suffers against um, um, callbacks. <laughs> I'd quite like not to have my 2 3 die immediately that heals me once a turn. That's quite cool. Like a. Like a forge what's its face. Forge complex, but for demons. It's got some good, like, event cards. I'm not sure how effective that will be in ranked. Well, you do have to deal with it. Yeah, 5 7 that you have to deal with, I guess, is nothing to do. Just 7 seems quite expensive. Goddamn pings. This is a hand you have to keep every every time, every time, especially when you're up against a two damage warlord. Because deal with that. <laughs> deal with it. <clears throat> I 
And now there are plague toads. So Warp Rifts are really cool. Um, <clears throat> I don't know how viable it's going to be in ranked, but if you've got a demon heavy deck, that's quite cool. I can see that being in some techie decks. Because now I play a turn 4 Seekers. And that was poison, so I'll kill that. And I'll punch you in the face. <laughs> it's like, what you gonna do? <laughs> and the issue is, so like, if you get two toads out of turn one, you gotta deal with them. But the problem is, Commander hits you for three every other turn. Yeah, as in, you know, his turns. And that's tough, man, because he's just, he's racing you down while you're desperately trying to get control back of the board. This guy was a bit annoying, if I remember correctly. I think he either kept, like, DCing or he took really long to do his turns. I was not, I was not happy. <laughs> so this one you have to be a bit more careful with your 1-3s because um, he can just murder them. Yes, it's a turn where he's not attacking you, but you also want to be trying to get the most out of them because in your mirrors went second again, by the way. Um, it's about trying to build a board position and control theirs and out damage them in the race. Um, so that's quite a nice position for me. Um, that's a nice choice as well. He's, I think he's running the same deck as I am. Um, because I now have to either take four damage or have a second one of those. So I'll kill that and I'll um, start getting the rot flies out. Because now he's got a choice because he's got to kill that or he's got to kill one of them. He's probably going to get another rot fly up against him. Um, you know. <clears throat> I think he makes the right choice just to go for, you know, there we go. Mad, mad damages. Um, yeah, I'll take the three. So he's winning in the damage department, but I've got the board position, and I, I think at this stage that's more important. Um, chances are he's got a defense stats, but <clears throat> there we go. That's fine. Um, he spent a turn not attacking me, which is quite relevant. Because it's compounded by the fact that when he's not attacking me for three, I'm then attacking him for three and only taking two, re two in return. So it does have sort of a... Yeah. Big side effect. Um. <clears throat> Okay, so I am low, but I have a really good board position, and I do think that's relevant in this. Yeah, he's killed a rot fly, but you know, nobody cares because my board position now is pretty fucking nasty. <laughs> <clears throat> and we're both on, well, he's 9 to my 8, but I know these decks don't have a lot of fast in them. Lord to God! Yeah. Out of hunts. <laughs> A punch up at the phones. Okay. 
played Skylord a few times actually. Skylord's a Northlands of War lad. Um, good matchups actually, although again, going second! He definitely beat me at least once in the uh, 10 run that I did before this with Miasma Rage. That guy's quite cool. He's using the Miasma of Rage deck, which is and and can be quite nice. Especially if you get the first turn, because if I had the first turn, I'd have defense sats by now and he'd be in a lot of trouble. Okay, I'm literally just playing that guy out to try and draw some stuff out. He's hey sweetie. Good. Okay. <clears throat> so it's held that guy. Yeah, he's, he's. I know, he's very cute. No. No. So, him trying to build a ball was really good. I think the problem is, is that defense stats are quite prevalent in this event, and so keeping that 4 2 having not attacked without like by the time one gets to turn four is a big risk uh, if it pays off it can be savage but um i'm not sure i think it was perhaps too big a risk um so um obviously we're getting quite close to the end <laughs> Just a better end. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to have one point in health advantage and I've got a board. Um, so we'll see. That's obviously quite nasty. Yeah, 5 7 with Ward. I mean, that's a problem. Fortunately. I also have one. And now, if he wants to kill me, he's got to draw because he won't have a manifest destiny. And it's very difficult to take down Kabanda. He's got six health and a harridan. Because most of the high damage stuff doesn't have um, unstoppable in, in the Miasma deck. I'm impressed he got the name, Khan the Betrayer, man. I quite like that card, the uh, one NG draw, uh, what, unspoiled lands. If it's a demon, you get another one. That's quite cool. The deck can need to be quite demon heavy, but I don't actually think that's necessarily a bad thing. I think that demons in Rainstorm are quite good. <clears throat> this guy's cool. 6-6 six, six for 6 against Mutation, and then if he survives, can get many more. So like, ideally you'd want the Ward one. <sighs> and then you just turn 6, 3 more Mutations, smash face. Chances are you'll probably end up with plus 2, plus 2 and unstoppable. Maybe even a plus 3, plus 0, you know. So this guy's building himself up a massively fat board. Unfortunately for him, I've got defense stats. Uh, that's a, a, a big problem for um, callbacks. I mean, I've, I've dumped the Ekra. It's not incredibly relevant in this matchup. Um, I think I play a Demon Chosen here. Yeah, just force him to get rid of it. And because I know he's going to take damage, 
one damage to all enemies, so his guys will have to take two damage, um, you know, max. <laughs> yeah, this is quite interesting. So he does that, which pings him, and then obviously I can play Mirror of Hatred. Because that's a really nice play, like, you know, if I didn't have that, I'd, be, I'd have to take nine damage, and I don't like that. Yeah, now I've given him ward, so... Yeah, he's got poison, but... You know. Yay! Cleave 2! Because <laughs> now I can... Um, now I can play those two guys, get my board out, murder that guy. I don't like that card, to be honest. The fact that um, it has to use its action to get mutation. It's a 1-4, it's just not, it's not particularly exciting. In my opinion. Ah, Todame! <laughs> And smash face. It's <clears throat> quite cool. And smashing the dickle. I think that guy will be very competitive in uh, ranked. In my opinion, I just think anything with fast and sneak attack is going to be very useful. Um, okay. So we've got my first defeat. Oh, Skylord, there we go. Oh, that's always a good thing to get out on turn two. Four three for three NG is pretty good. I'll start getting a board going. And then I have to get rid of my board. Is that guy? <laughs> His curve's really nice this game. Yeah. Certainly a Timmy card. Oh. Really hate playing that into that because it just means it's going to die, but you know, I have to slow him down. <sighs> yeah, it's pretty pretty horrible. And the problem is, like, I was looking for something to dump seekers onto, but I had to keep playing stuff that was going to get killed. It's just not good. So yeah, as you can see, I'm just getting the piss beaten out of me. He's got a nice health lead. He's got a lovely curve. Yeah. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Sacrifice my Haridan into him. Harrier, sorry. And that's GG. Carbanda! Okay, back to callbacks.
naturally get rid of the Bloodthirster. It's a bit of a dump card in this. There's a creature in a Korbax deck, which is like a 6 7, relentless every turn it gets a mutation for 7. I really like that card. That's really quite cool. Um, like that could that could get silly very quickly. Bit slow if you're going into a Kabanda, like you don't generally get to turn six. Uh, but um, well, you know, at least not with some other serious things to do like healing. Um, but uh, yeah. Oh. Aha! The plague toads begin. Yeah, so one gain of mutation. There's a one four. Mm, it's all right, I guess. I mean, I have to deal with it now, but like, yeah, ignore that misplay. Shh. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure, really sure why I did that because obviously now I'm just going to get two more of them. You know. Oh. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's just, oh fuck you, like, yeah, this deck is mean, these guys are good. I mean, isn't that brutal, just like... <laughs> All right, Recognize me. popping a sanguineous now. I will send you back whence you came, Hellspawn. I think not, dickhead. That's a really cool card. Like, I mean, obviously, it's not quite so great on that guy because uh, he wouldn't get the opportunity to turn um, Bloodfest. But I mean, in terms of taking out my troops, that was that was good. Um, I got a nice board out, you know. Um, oh. Obviously takes that guy out. I think I end up dumping my acro just to get rid of it, but that's fine. Like again, I'm not exactly in a position where I'm desperate to heal, and um, that is, you know, a horrible board to have. <laughs> okay, I do keep the acro. That's obviously a problem. So I can't really kill it this turn without taking a horrific amount of damage, so I'm just going to ignore it. I say ignore it, I'm still going to rock fly it, but... Yeah, that stun on that guy is pretty brutal. So, I feel like he had lethal here, right? So he's got 3 and 16, plus 3 if he attack first. So, 16, 19, 22, 24, he could have had lethal. You know, I, I should have lost this one. 
but he didn't. So I won. It's like another front line. I think he's got a five cost, a six cost. No wait, a three, a five, a six, a seven front line demon. And they've all got nice stats. It's just insane. Yeah, I don't know what was going on with it. This guy just must have had like the worst draws. He just didn't have any like of his, you know, direct damages apparently. <laughs> Lord of the flies! Lord of the flies! I would do the anime song, but I genuinely can't remember it because it was in uh, that album. Well, one of the albums by Blaze Bailey. Um, Blaze Bailey? Yeah. And, um, just not my not my favourite time in terms of uh, uh, the Iron Maiden sort of uh, you know uh, I assume this game has warped a little bit which is why I'm going to exit but I did win that one clearly uh, on to my se second second loss I had a bad bad hand in this one uh, and I actually go first which is mental. Yeah, no, just this, this hand is not exciting at all. Because um, I can't really warp rift. I can't really play toad. Seekers is a bit too expensive, you know. Um, you know, I just don't really have anything that really tickles me. <sighs> He just starts controlling the board, which is obviously the right thing to do, and I'm screwed because now he's got two cards. Um, and I've got two seekers, but like, eh. this is a problem. And, you know, I draw my seven. Ugh. Where's all my fun bits? That's horrible because now he's got a 5 6 and a 4 2. I haven't got defense sats and. Wah! <laughs> oh, hold on. Hey guys, sorry I was on mute. Um, well, I seems to have broken again, but um, fucking idiot. But uh, yeah, I lost that one, as you saw. Um, okay, so callbacks, auto blight, <coughs> with the cool name of Helldozer. I uh, wonder if it was inspired by Killdozer. The, uh, uh, the guy who went on that big ass rampage in America. Hell does it across the universe. Okay, so got the fallen. Fallen's cool. <coughs> I wonder if this will precipitate more seek and destroys coming back into the. Um, Meta just because it's a 
three cost a three. These guys are quite cool. I wonder if they're a little bit um, unreliable. The stealth thing makes them quite scary, I think. So I'll get myself a board out. I'll just uh, quickly finish off the chore I was doing.
passes away. What is forever? Turn around and bring the boss to the weak. <laughs>